Okay. This video is about the life of a boatman here in Kansaga Bay. So, we are now here on board a boat because this boat is doing commercial boating services for the people that is docking on inter-island vessels right in the middle of channel, uh, the Mactan Channel. So, this is the life of a boatman here. This is like what we're asked to for this for this trip is 100 pesos back and forth to the boat but we will be viewing the Mactan channel so mr mars here is doing this business as a boatman for eight years already so as early as five in the morning she's already he's already out here ready to take in some passengers from docking inter-island boats that will buy their supply here in Mandawi City or anyone that want to visit somewhere in Mactan via Kansaga Bay. So like Mr. Marcelo was saying that their agreement here on the boat owner, this is not actually his boat, is to 50-50. Half of it goes to the owner and half to him doing the services after he has cleared all the fuel and other like parts that need a replacement on this boat so you can see the boat is now loading up the cargo for the inter-island vessel that we will be passing through or stopping by on the way to see the channel Mactan channel view rather so Mr. Mars got four children but he was able to motivate his children to make sure you go to school properly that you will not end up like me because like he said he have no um, proper education so he learned um, welding from a trade school and used to be a welder of some company but then again it's only like casual work so he got no permanent source of income and his family is growing so he end up doing this boatman services here in Kansaga Bay for eight years now and which is in favorable to him and his family so join us as we will be taken by Mr. Mars to have a viewing of the Mactan Channel via Kansaga Bay so Kuya Mars here was saying that you gotta be wary about some of the fishermen here because there are sometimes like that boy there on the end he was left by his own boat and then leaving the pier uno usually this this kind of boat can it's a pump boat can catch up with the boat and then they can go and ride on the boat that he was supposed to be working on the inter-island vessel and and also if you hire here some of the boat at first they were we were asked at 1,000 to 2,000 pesos when Kuya Mars was just asking us 100 pesos to tour in the Mactan channel 100 pesos back and forth per person so See, and he said when there's less people going around for viewing or like shopping for supplies to the docking boats in the middle of the channel, he will go fishing around Pier 4 to, to catch some of those shrimp thing that they sell for 100 pesos per tabu you know like the water deeper that is the, the measurement for 50 pesos 50 to 100 pesos depending depending on the demand and the season so he's been doing this for eight years now and it's paying good than the usual work that he do which is welding that he gets laid off once in a while every six months so there is no permanent earnings whereas this one like he said if they are so quiet for all the people that wants to hire the boat or any 
going around the channel, he will do fishing himself. And the same thing, um, they go halves with the owner of whatever they can get. Because he's so like like helpful with the people like us. He just charge us 100 pesos. Like he don't want to be greedy as long as it's something is income is coming. He just never got get zero always. He can think of some other things to have an income from like fishing around the area as well and also around Pier 4, Pier 1 area where they can catch those tiny shrimp during season. He has four children, ages. Pilang idad si mo kamagwangan, Mars? 14. Ang kamaghuran is 8 months. Uh, four boys, 14 to 8 months is the youngest. The second boy is with him because right now there's no school. And he told us that he always encourages his children that while he can still afford to provide for them to make sure that they will have a better education than what he had achieved because her fa his father died early because it's a crew of a tanker that blow up when he was still young so he end up like an orphan only their mother that cannot afford to send them to school so that is why he has to make sure that his children be well provided and will have a better life than them. So that is the story of the boatman, Kuya Mars. So you can see here the second child of Kuya Mars is helping him maneuvering the boat. So the children, even the oldest one, 14 years old, will take turns with his kuya here, the 12 year old, uh, 10 year old, to help their father, Kuya Mars, navigate the boat or any assistance that they can do. So this is how they, Mars and his wife, motivate the children that they need to work hard and even help them to provide for them. So this is the son of Kuya Mars there helping to navigate the boat while Kuya Mars is there on the front guiding the boat out of the docking area so this is the story of a boatman here in Kansaga Bay